In this lesson, we're going to set up our base uh, container uh, setup using Docker file. Um, we're going to write a Docker Compose YAML. And we're also going to have the application factory for the Flask application. So let's quickly go uh, through this. Um, we've seen this uh, set up in, in, in other courses, so we shouldn't uh, be seeing any, anything new. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are in our terminal. Uh, we're going to go to the OPT folder, and right now I don't have anything in there. So I'm going to create my my folder, and I'm going to call this uh, pets-api. So now we have pets-api there. We're going to cd to it and clear the screen with um, command K. And uh, so let's start from the very beginning, I guess, uh, the requirements txt. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to start my Atom editor. And here I'm uh, at pets API. So I'm going to do a new file and call it requirements txt. And uh, requirements txt has all these libraries. Uh, some of those you have seen, we're going to use Flask. Uh, 011 flask script pi mongo mongo engine flask mongo engine and then pi bcrypt and jesus schema is the one that we haven't seen before but it's uh it's a very useful uh json validation library that we're going to be using now remember you need to put all these exact numbers and uh, and uh, libraries in this order for uh, you to be able to follow along the course Otherwise, you'll see little problems here and there. And, uh, and of course, if, if you post some question regarding, you know, some uh, library and, and you're not following this uh, requirements txt, I'm not going to be able to, to help you. So that's our requirements txt. The next thing we're going to do is a settings py. And we're going to have uh, a secret key, uh, debug equals true, and we're going to use MongoDB host and MongoDB DB. That's uh, for Flask MongoDB. And here we need to be using MongoDB as the host. So that's that. Let's go ahead now and create a, a manage py, which we use with uh, the Flask script. And again, nothing uh, too complicated here. We set the path where the file is. Then we import manager and server from Flask script, uh, create an app. And this is like the factory uh, method or factory uh, pattern. And then we add the command run server, which uh, is going to run on port 5000. And finally, we run the application if it's uh, if it if it's being run from the from the terminal. So um, so far so good. Now let's create a application py, and this is going to look like the following. We're going to import Flask and Mongo engine. And then we're going to start DB as a variable for the Mongo engine instance. We're going to have a create app um, application, uh, factory application, uh, setting up with the settings py and allowing the overrides from test, uh, starting the DB. And then we're going to just import the blueprints um, from home views. We're going to have a home app and then register that blueprint. Now notice something here. Um, I think in the in the repository I have a slightly different uh, version of this. I think it says flask.ext.mongoengine, but beginning with flask, uh, I think 0 010 or 0 011, that changed to um, to be used like this: flask underscore mongoengine. It will work the other way around, but I think you're gonna get some deprecation uh, warnings. Now let's go ahead and create the uh, home folder and we're going to have uh, an init file there so that it's um, considered a Python package. So init.py, 
we put nothing on that file and then we're going to have a views py here and we're going to have the following on that file we're going to import blueprint we're going to register that blueprint and then we're going to say that on that route we're going to print hello world this is so yeah you know we know that the container is working properly okay we're almost done uh, let's create the docker file and the docker file so i'm going to look like this So we're going to have a base image with uh, 3.4 slim. We're going to run an apt get update and install uh, these libraries. Then we make a local directory in the container and set that as the working directory. And then we copy all the code that we have in here, run pip install and start listening to 5000 when we start the container. And finally, we issue the command python manage py run server, which is the, uh, you know, the flask script um, endpoint. So that's almost it. The last thing is the docker compose yaml. So we need this docker compose dot yaml. And this is what we put in there version 2 services uh, web with this uh, volumes installed now remember those volumes need to be the same as the one that you have in your local computer um, and then we're going to have a db which is uh, pulled from the image mongo 302 and we're going to call that container pets api db1 and the web container pets api web1 um, and this has to be, this is like your local directory. So in my case, it's um, this folder here, opt, opt pets API. And that should match that one there. And then locally, we're gonna have that in there. So that's it. That's all we need to, to get our uh, initial container set up. So let's go ahead and, uh, and build this container.